Hey guys, this is Zaza. Many of you, many of you know me as a Ivy League instructor. I've been I've been doing videos for a pretty long time now on Ivy League and before that on Lego Poker. But uh, this is not the point of this uh, video or vlog, however you call it. Uh, I'm just trying to talk about certain things that I kind of realized yesterday and I think I wanted to share with you guys. I also think this is a good way for me of um, just kind of self-reflection, if that's a word, just uh, figuring certain things out and yeah, just grow, I guess, uh, as a poker player, as a human being. It sounds pretty cliche to say this, pretty cheesy, but I think it's something that is definitely possible if you're if it's done under the right circumstances in the right way uh, it's a little bit awkward to be honest doing the talking to you, talking to yourself while watching you thing I will admit that but I think we'll get the hang out of that hang out of that um, so to come back to yesterday's session I was playing 2550 and I think I played with Katya for Haley who else was there? Let me check the lobby. Uh, one second. Yeah. I think our Perfumo, Timothy, uh, Fish2013, uh, Bice Corvin, or whatever, however you pronounce his name. Uh, so a lot of a lot of high stake no splits players, and I think it was definitely an interesting experience in terms of putting yourself out there. I think it's a pretty relevant theme nowadays, uh, given how many people are using scripts, uh, how many people are advertising the importance of table selection. I mean, it is important. I'm not, I'm not here to bash scripters. I'm not here to bash, uh, I'm not here to bash anyone who is, uh, who is basically trying to make sure he's a winning player. So that, I mean, all, all of that stuff is, is fine, but, what I'm trying to say is you need to put yourselves in harm's way sometimes and what can happen is either you're gonna break or it's gonna make you and I think that if you really have the right personality and you have the right attitude for this it can really really help you out especially if you're struggling if you're if you have been playing the same stakes for a really long time your lack of motivation I think that this can really be the cure to a lot of these things because uh, up until I think 2013 so I've been playing 1k for pretty much two years now yeah two years and I've dabbled into some 2k f like I think last year last year I've tried my first shot went really bad uh, my second shot went bad as well so my third shot same thing so I think I was down like 30 35 binds in a pretty relatively short amount of time so it was pretty not depressing but it was pretty frustrating for me uh, to the point where I would just told myself okay uh, I'm done with I'm done shotting now and I'm just just gonna focus on grinding it out with you know just playing 1k 600 and now and some 500 zoom from time to time but I think it just drains you mentally drains you physically and just you know takes out a lot of joy enjoyment of, of out of playing which I think is important and if I mean drive is one thing but you know I thought about this yesterday in bed and because I was watching a video and it was about what makes you happy in life what 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 would you define as a, a good life and a lot of us will say we play poker because we want to do you know we want to have the freedom to do whatever we want with our time and you know basically you're your own boss but at the same time, like, how many of us have us struggling with, you know, having like a, a really good social life, um, just going outside enough, not being too isolated, and not letting the stress effect of playing pretty high stakes when, you know, when you get to 2 KNL, 1 KNL, the amounts of, uh, the amounts of money you're playing for are pretty, pretty important, you know, I mean, my worst losing day is probably 25,000 or maybe more I'm not sure but um, I mean I've, I think the worst swing I had in buy in terms of binds at 1k was 
21 binds in 2000 hands I lost and this is not me tilting over chopping so what I'm trying to say is it can affect your mood uh, if you will let it so it's I think it's a lot of that stuff can be improved if you have the right attitude uh, I definitely am not in that camp I'm not in that camp yet hopefully I will I will change and and be able to uh, be able to get to the point where I'm playing and I'm simply happy with the decisions I make I mean I'm still I am to some degree but I definitely just it's just something I can't control always and with a high of enough frequency I think so yeah this is something I'm struggling with this is something I'm planning on improving so the point I was trying to make again to come back to that happiness and as a poker player as good as it sounds to be free freedom you're not really free because you're kind of the slave of the game because if you want to put in a, any sort of volume which you need if you want to make some nice amount of money uh, to secure uh, your future I guess because it's not like you can play poker until you're 50 or 60 or 40 I mean at least I don't want to that's for sure so you definitely need to to move up and make a decent amount of money in order to have a pretty comfortable life I mean that is if you live in one of the you know one of the countries that I'm like Luxembourg Germany France basically any any of the more wealthy countries uh, if you live in uh, economically less advanced countries like Romania I mean Hungary I'm sure you know you don't need as many as many savings but you still will do so obviously it will be less because you know like I don't know half a million dollars a half a million euros is a lot more worth in those places than in places like Luxembourg obviously or London but um, okay so yeah this is way harder than I thought guys well wow. because I haven't written anything down so I'm just trying to wing this as everything I do in life pretty much so bear with me this is my first one so hopefully it will get better so to come back to that I thought about it yesterday because the la I played 2550 uh, I think it was like 10 tables or so and then the second session I cooled off I, came, I ate something, I came back and I was playing, I don't know, like 20 tables of 2k NL, basically like 3 5k and like 13 2k NL and I had a couple of 1k NL and the session was not bad, was not great uh, but after the session I just sat there and was thinking, reviewing the hands with a friend that I played at 5k earlier and I don't know, I really had the mindset of focusing on like what I was actually doing like because I was aware that the competition I was playing against was more exp I mean probably obviously more comfortable playing the stakes uh, a lot of players are probably going to be better than I am as well uh, so you just are just forced forced to get out of your comfort zone and forced to think about things that you might not think normally because normally when I sit down to play and I play versus my typical 1k and opponents I just sit down and I just Honestly, I don't really care. It's just not—it's not that I'm dissing anyone. I'm just not calling anyone out. All I'm saying is, I just sit down, open the tables, I play, I play the hands. I don't really think too much about uh, what's going on. Uh, I don't, and I will be kind of a little bit results oriented because maybe it's a little bit too much self entitlement involved, which is something that. I definitely struggle with and I think a lot of people do self entitlement self entitlement is probably one of the I think one of the most the biggest leaks in terms of mental game leaks that people have so this is something that uh, you have to work on I guess um, but when I said at 5k and the first time at 2k like those things go away it's just like you just focus solely on strategy which is like really refreshing and comes back to the point I was trying to make. I make it a long, long tangent, but that's what I was trying to make. The point I was trying to make. Because having played with these guys, seeing that I could hang with them, and that, I mean, despite making some mistakes, and I mean, I didn't profit that session, but like I said, despite making some mistakes, and despite not profiting, I still got a lot from it. Like, like I said, the motivation, and just the, it's almost like you, when you do the same thing over and over again, 
you can get stuck into this repetitive pattern where you will not try to you know like achieve more goals because if you don't have goals that's a problem with poker a lot of guys sit down I mean I know a lot of people play 200 NL with rolls they are rolled to play 1k NL or they're rolled to play 600 NL very comfortably but they don't and again this is fine but all I'm trying to say is just not I don't think it's what you want in your life all I'm, all I'm trying to say is I'm not saying everybody who plays 200 NL could play higher all I'm trying to say if you don't aspire to become better to become a better player it's just not gonna feel as good and with time you will be miserable you will be feel drained out you will be bored and this won't be your dream job whereas when I sit down at 5k this is my dream job honestly this is like what this is like my dream like when you when I sit down there at 5k and I'm playing 10 12 tables versus the best guys in the world and I don't give a shit uh, if there is a fish sitting or not like just don't like honestly it feels even worse when there's a fish because I just I think it, it takes away a little bit from intensive intensity intensity so these are the things I think that can really change uh, change you as a person I guess and change your outlook on a lot of things again this might be because I'm a completely different person I'm kind of like a maniac in a lot of ways but I just like to be put out there in these sort of things I just I mean this is basically what I it's it's a rush but at the same time it's I mean it's a rush so obviously it's re, it's reviving and electrical but at the same time it just makes you reflect about so many things and it puts things into perspective what is important uh, what mistakes have you done before what you have to improve on like honestly I sat down yesterday I was in bed and I was thinking wow there's so many spots that I have just been complacent about and I haven't worked on ranges small blind ranges for example uh, I'm not happy the way I've been playing there I mean, this is just a stupid example with the small blind but I think you're getting you understand the point I'm trying to make so again it's just it's epiphany is a big word but it just make it made me reevaluate so many things and I think this vlog as well is also going to be something an interesting tool for me because uh, once I get more used to you know the looking in the camera talking and looking at yourself I think it it's gonna it can definitely further you and bring me more forward in my poker career so yeah at first honestly I was a little bit uh, reluctant to do it because I was just a friend told a friend a friend told me about it and he said that it might be something interesting for me just because I once told him about that I like to block and I like to do block entries back in the day in Lego poker because it's it's like therapy honestly it's just a way to write down certain things whether it's goals whether it's certain emotions sometimes you gotta work through things sometimes you gotta you know just write down some goals it's, and it's, it's just it can be used for a couple of number of things so um, yeah I think for a first vlog this is not hasn't been too bad it's been 13 minutes uh, I think it's long enough I definitely have a lot more respect for some of these guys who are doing these like on a regular basis and make them uh, a lot longer so yeah props to those guys uh, before ending I will say I will post this on my 2 plus 2 blog I will post it in the link downstairs in the description so follow me on Twitter at the real Zazano uh, follow me on my 2 plus 2 blog like I said it's Pazano a tilt monkey's road to recovery uh, and besides that tune in on my ivyleague.com videos uh, comment like if you enjoy the content obviously if you don't just don't watch just go away because uh, definitely not gonna tolerate any negativity in this uh, in this channel because like I said this is about I mean self enlightenment is a big word self improvement and hopefully you got you guys can uh, learn something from what I'm talking about because I think sharing the experience you have is can definitely be a pretty important tool for some of you guys because all of us are on the quest to the same thing I, I think I mean in the long haul that's what we're looking for everybody wants to play to arrive to those stakes where 
where I'm trying to get to right now. And even if you're a 100 an hour player, your dream is to one day play there. So I think anybody can relate to this. And whether it's 5K and L, a 5K and L shot like now, or like a 500 zoom shot, or a guy who's shotting from 50 to 200 or 100, I think it's just, I think it's just a number and it's just as big as it is for me because I remember like at each time you move up it is the next big thing and it's just it just feels overwhelming it feels as I mean important to you as it does to me right now so like I said I, that's the reason I think all of you will be able to take something from this anyways I think I rambled enough so I like the video follow me and oh before I go one last thing I am probably gonna be doing some big profit I'm not sure I mean profit is a big word I think I'm gonna do a challenge because it's hard to find people to profit against also just because I'm gonna have a lot of visitors and I'm gonna be still traveling a little bit so I, I still want to be able to do that without having some big uh, profit in the back of my mind but supernova elite is let's see how many VPPs I got left I got left, sorry, I got left 372,000 BPPs to make Supernova Elite this year. So it's going to be tough. Honestly, it's going to be tough. I just keep waiting, 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 and I feel like, oh, it's pretty easy, and I just wasted another two weeks lately not doing much, but I hope uh, that I will still make it, like I said. Uh, I will post probably in my graph, I'll talk about it in my next, next vlog, whenever I get inspired about um, about this next challenge, but I'm probably going to try to do like a 200,000 BPP month or something crazy like that, uh, just to, honestly, just to get closer to my goals so I can focus again on, on trying to get where I want to be. And I think uh, putting those hands in will help me do that to some degree because experience wise it's very helpful to play a lot of fans it's so yeah anyway guys i think this has been enough so like i said follow me on twitter the real zazano follow me on two plus two and check my videos out on ivyleague.com so yeah peace